Now then, you two, welcome back to Sheffield United career mode, where we have got Manchester United in the FA Cup fourth round replay. There's the team. Unfortunately, last episode I played Peterborough, but you won't have seen it because the recording corrupted. Oh, really good tackle from Ollie McBurney. Has done something right. He's done something very right. Lee Smooth say, oh my word, what a start. And yet again, Manchester United are losing against Sheffield United. And what a goal that is. Instantly winning the ball. Ollie McBurney nicks it off that goofy cunt. Bruno Fernandes chips a delightful ball chests it to Lise Rousset who absolutely hammers it in on the volley into the top right corner past the hapless David De Gea 1-0 get it ha <laughs> ha <laughs> you wanker right where was I ah yes we drew 2-2 last episode to Peterborough but the recording corrupted the goals were scored by Oli Norwood and Lise Mousset uh, so we drew 2-2 and that's unfortunately gone corrupt that video has so I can't upload it well obviously because the video the, it's just gone it's just disappeared so yes that's what happened there and I'm recording these four videos today uh, I, just before this I've recorded a couple of Vanguard and yesterday I recorded House of Ashes today is Wednesday Thursday I'm always busy oh what a tackle twice Three times. Lee Smooth say wins it. Oh, this whole lucky. Happens to everybody at some point. The body just can't cope anymore, and that's probably the case here because when he plays, he's a big impact. Shelby. Oh, lovely from John Joe Shelby. Lee Smooth say again. Really, really good defended. Penalty. Maybe not really good defended from Victor Lindelof, but yeah. So I'm busy oh, Thursday as I always am. Friday, when I'm usually recording, I've, no, it's not really good defending. It is a penalty. Friday, I've got an eye test. Saturday, I'm out all day with the little one and the missus. Um, then Sunday, I never record. So then Monday, well, I've got a house viewing, to be fair, but I'm going to try and squeeze in the video. John Joe Shelby makes it 2-0. Sheffield United. Ha-ha! <laughs> we will not be beaten by these wankers. Can't beat Peterborough, but can beat Manchester United. Work it out, it don't make sense, and it's a fantastic penalty from John Joe Shelby. Bang! So, yeah, after today, what's Wednesday? Won't be recording Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I'm going to try and fit one or two in on Monday. Then I'm just going to have to um, absolutely uh, sweat out some recordings on Monday. So, I've got so many in, left in my library, so many videos. I've, I've not really got any much more room until I have to delete them after recorded because I've got three House of Ashes, got to complete that yesterday, two Vanguard. And then I will have, oh, really good defending from Gene Bogle. I've currently only got two. This will be the second FIFA video. But then I will have four, all being well. It's a glorious ball. David De Gea! <laughs> Sander Hamburg, win it. Ollie McBurney. At least we say should have jumped over that. He should have. Attempt to get a touch on it to be fair, and we're just dominating here. But yeah, I'll have four FIFA videos, three uh, House of Ashes, two Vanguard. And then after this weekend, when I come back on Monday, I'm saying now the new tube, this record session is da da da. By the time you see me again, um, House of Ashes will be finished, and we're just going to be Vanguarding and FIFAing it out until Christmas. That's the plans, anyway. Um, this looks interesting. Really well defender from Chris Basham. And also, depending on how the season goes, I will be simulating a few games towards the latter end of this season. Let's say we're five, six points clear and we're at home against the bottom of the table. I'll simulate it. You know, obviously playing against one of our title and automatic promotion Ronaldo. rivals. Oh, what a tackle from so Basham. And then Eager does well. So. McBurney, shit. <laughs> Hate him sometimes. Nice bit of play from Manchester United. But where's it going them? Finally, it's getting them up the pitch. Good defending. Basham has the calmness to take it down. Not only that, half volley, a lovely ball to John Joe Shelby. Jaden Bogle. Has got the legs on Greenwood. And here's Ollie McBurney. It's a goal! Ollie McBurney with three! Nil! 
up against Manchester United. They are shit. And I love it. So the reetery squirt of the old dilute pot. And that's a fantastic header. Uh, that's just how good it is. It's absolutely bullet header from Ollie McBurney. Proving me wrong and what a team to do it against. Really good header. Can't get enough on it, David De Gea. And it's into the bottom corner. And that's Ollie McBurney with his first goal in the cup. Doesn't score enough, Ollie McBurney. But he's proved to me he can score. Oh, McTomin, they shocking Manchester United. And that's instant reply. That's Sergio Rav calling them a joke. Ronaldo says, fuck off, you cunt. End of day, you're losing 3 1 to us at home, and we're going to make sure it stays 3 1 until half time. Oh, fuck off. Oh, yes! Great stuff from John Egan. Oh, yes. And another leg breaker. Fantastic. I don't condone this. It's just against Manchester United on FIFA. Bruno Fernand, what a save from Robin Olsen. <sighs> Should have been. Maybe another John Flex booked. Has anyone else been booked in between? Because I made two crunching tackles. No, just John Fleck. 3 1 up. Let's make sure it stays like that. 3 2 could be very interesting. So, but I don't really want to find out. John Joe Shelby, clear it. Victor Lindelof shoots straight into his man. Robin Olsen clears, and that's a perfect half of football. 3 1 up at half time. Just on slow. Obviously, you didn't see it, but. Played against, look at this, look at that chest of volley, fuck yeah, lovely. Um, we fucking played against Peterborough in 2-2. We lost 4-0 to um, Derby earlier on in the season. Some games we get battered in, like got battered 5-6-0 by Man City, but Man United, I just fucking beat them for fun. It's not like the difficulty is too easy, and I don't obviously lower the difficulty for them. But... I just maybe it's just me. I pull out the perfect game because I hate them that much. It's a it's a performance fueled by hate. <laughs> maybe if I hated every team as much as I hate Man United, I'd win the five fucking nil every game against shit teams. I'm sure next season, despite me beating Manchester United comfortably here, the Premier League will be a massive struggle. That's what I expect anyway. Ben Osborne does well. Getting forward. A chance to whip it in. Ben Osborne. Is still there. And I think the has been of Shelby. Good pressure. Greenwood. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. Oh, really good. Unlucky. Tried to squeeze that through the gap. Maybe not the best place to be doing that. Fred gets lucky, jumps over the tackle. Hamburg is having none of it. John Joe Shelby. Lovely ball over to Lise Boussé. And I've got to hit this. Sorry. I did have to hit it. With 3-1 up. Fred's coming off. That can only be good news for them. They're bringing off, bringing on Paul Pogba, who might be shit in real life, but in this game he still has quality. They're bringing on Jane Sancho again. Real life, not really getting the chance, to be fair. Can't say shit because he's not. Just not getting the chance. I don't understand it. Oh, really well done there from Jane Bogle. What a save from Robin Olsen! What a save! And that's to Ben Davis and now to Ben Oz. Not nowhere near where I asked that to go. Should have been to Ben Osborne, just straight down the line instead of that ridiculous pass. And not letting Aaron Wambi Saka score, no chance. Really well done there. Here's one to look forward to with us here on EA TV in the Champions League, the round of 16 first leg live. It's Manchester United facing Inter. Well, neither side would want to lose that first He leg. is it's offside. Really good tactical battle. It no, he's be not. Game, How? How? Who was that? Was that John Egan? I don't care. I don't give a shit. But that, that, 
I know Ronaldo's a good player, but he's pa number one, he's past his best. Number two, how the fuck is he winning that header? How are you letting him win that header? I do not want a squeaky bum final 15. I want a comfortable final 15. Well, we've got a two-goal lead to s comfortably defend. And I'll tell you what, we will be comfortably defending it, because even those defence have let us down there. Fucking Robin Olsen in Hamburger. Oliver McBurney. Oliver McBurney who's had a very good game game today. Sander Hamburger. Jaden Bogle. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Thumps clear. Rafa Varan. Hamburger. Ollie McBurney with a decent strike. Decent. Oh, that's easy for Aaron Wan Bissaka. Come on, come over, Ben Davis. Don't run that way. Fucking hell, this shit. They're falling apart. You'll love to see it. John Fleck. Holly McBird. I tell you what. What a game he's had today. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two Jot. teams. For most of the game, oh. they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Oh, yes. Break the legs. Yellow card for Lise Mousset. Worth it. Worth it. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Paul Pogba. It's Pogba against Hamburger. There's only one man in the midfield that you want to be worried about, and it is not the Paul Pogba. Either way, the game's up. Score if you want. It's a consolation. Jaden Sancho, Aaron Bissaka. Jaden Sancho. Here's Luis Alberto, and it's yet again saved by that fucking man, Robin Olsen. I'll tell you what, we would. To be fair, they gave us a game. John Joe Shelby penalty. At least we say stunning goal. And the, oh, look at this. Just look. Lovely ball. Lovely pressing and ball from Ollie McBurney. And the finish from Lise we say unbelievable. John Joe Shelby. Clear penalty in the end. Finished. I believe it was Ollie McBurney that was taken out. Then this goal here, lovely run from Jaden Bogle, ball in, and then Ollie McBurney with a fucking phenomenal header, and it's then they got a consolation. But you look at the stats, you can see here they dominated possession. Uh, to be fair, we, even with the chances, but we took ours, and we have beaten Manchester United yet again. Played them three times this season, two wins and a draw. Fucking phenomenal from us. Just shame we didn't do it in, against Peterborough. And Birmingham away next. I've got three more videos to make. It's going to be Birmingham, then home against uh, West Brom, and then away against Huddersfield. And we've got Leicester away in the next round of the Cup. So that's what's coming up. We're four points clear at the top. And I've got a couple of things in my office. I promoted Comp in the last video as well. Like I said, it failed. Uh, Gilles Comp says, thanks for giving me a chance to be in the senior squad. I'm desperate to show everyone what I can bring to the team. I was impressed. Uh, we've got the tournament prize money. We'll have a look at Hilton first because he always brings me shit. Point proven. Every single one of you are getting rejected. I'm, I'm fucking sacking him. I tell you now, Kai Hilton, you shit. Cigar Scov is much better. 69 to 80. So you're just going to be 60, potential of 70s. Did I just sign him? 76 to 94. Signing him. Uh, no, don't need to keep it. Your shit, maybe. No, and no. All players will currently be checked further. Let me just check. I didn't sign him up by mistake. Let's just double check. Youth squad. Seventy-six to ninety-four. Could be really good. Could be shit. Could be really good. We'll leave all the rest for now. I'm not holding up too much hope. Gilles Compt is one more thing I want to do. Go to squad. Go to squad hub. And I want to make him. Where is he?
There's back in four months. He feels like he's been out forever. Uh, she lets comp 17. Development plan. Let's change him to a centre back. He's got to be playing right side of centre back. Um, right. There we are. Okay, position. Right, so there we are. That'll do for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next episode for Birmingham at Birmingham. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.